In this video, I show you how to force restart, enter recovery mode, enter DFU mode, and much more on your iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. 9to5Mac on YouTube is sponsored by Tenorshare's Reboot. Have you ever found your iPhone stuck on an Apple logo like this? Not only can Tenorshare's Reboot fix this problem, but it can also do a whole lot more. Simply connect your iOS device to your Mac and instantly gain access to awesome features like the ability to enter or exit recovery mode with a single click like this. That feature by itself seems cool enough, but with Reboot, you gain access to a whole bunch of other repair features as well. Reboot can help you fix all sorts of problems with your iPhone and recover your iOS installation to normal without data loss. It can even help you downgrade from an iOS beta like this. Click the link in the description for more details and special thanks to Reboot for sponsoring 9to5Mac. Hey, thanks for joining me. This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac, and in this video, I'm gonna show you, like I told you, how to get into recovery mode, how to get into DFU mode, how to force restart, all that jazz. So prepare yourself, because I'm gonna learn you something over the next few minutes. First and foremost, however, you wanna make sure you familiarize yourself with the buttons on your iPhone. So with the display of your iPhone facing you, on the left side, you'll see two buttons. You'll see the volume up button and the volume down button. Familiarize yourself with those two buttons because you're gonna be using them. And then on the right side of your iPhone, you're gonna see this button here. This is the side button. And that's the button you use to normally invoke Siri. Well, we're going to use combinations of these buttons in order to accomplish various things here in this video. So one of those things is to simply power off your iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. And we're gonna use either one of the volume buttons, either up or down, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna use the side button. So you wanna press both of those buttons simultaneously, hold until you see this screen right here and then release. And now you simply slide to power off just like that. And that's how you turn off your iPhone. All right, great, so you had the phone off, now you need to know how to turn it back on. Well, thankfully, that's really easy. Simply hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. You don't need to use the volume buttons, just press and hold the side button until you see that, and then release. So now your phone's booting back up into iOS, and you're good to go. But just keep in mind that anytime you restart your iPhone or power it back up from an off state, you will need to put your passcode in before you're able to use Touch ID. Now here's where things begin to get interesting. How to force restart your iPhone 11. Now, say your iPhone's having problems, maybe it simply won't respond to your commands. Well, you can force restart your iPhone. I'm gonna show you how to do so right now using combinations of the volume and side buttons. So you wanna press and release the volume up button, followed quickly by pressing and releasing the volume down button, followed quickly by pressing and holding the side button. And you wanna to continue to hold the side button until your phone restarts. You're gonna see that slide to power off message at the top and then it goes to black and there it goes. It force restarts your iPhone. So you see the Apple logo and it comes back up. So it's really simple, really easy. It's just memorizing those button combinations. Now, if you ever experience an issue where your phone is just really, really acting up and perhaps you need to restore the factory defaults. Well, you can use recovery mode to do that. Now, to use recovery mode, you will need a Mac or PC. In this case, I'm using a Mac, and you will need your iPhone connected to that computer. So I'm connecting using a lightning, a USB cable like this, and I wanna just select trust here. You may get a prompt on your Mac or PC as well. I'm gonna put my passcode in there. All right, so now that you're connected to your computer, you wanna perform the following button combination and it's very similar to force restarting like we just did. So if you're able to do that, you're definitely able to do this. Now at the end, you wanna continue holding the side button until you see the recovery mode indicator on your iPhone. So we're gonna press volume up and release, volume down and release, press and hold the side button, continue holding, and don't let go of that side button. It's going to restart. Continue holding the side button though. Don't let that button go. Even when you see the Apple logo, keep holding the side button. And eventually, you'll see this. And now you can release. This is the recovery indicator telling you to connect to your computer. We're already connected. 
And when you launch iTunes, you're going to see this right here. There's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So you can do either one of those depending on your needs. That is how you enter recovery mode with your iPhone 11. Now, if you want to exit recovery mode, it's as easy as pie. All you need to do is hold the side button until your iPhone reboots. So let's do it right now. It's so easy. Just press and hold the side button like this and continue holding until you see the screen go black like that. Now you can release because your iPhone is rebooting. You should see the Apple logo in five, four. There we go. All right. So now that is how you exit out of recovery mode. Now we're going to talk about the most difficult command or button combination finger gymnastics of this entire tutorial and that is getting into DFU mode. Now chances are you'll never have to get into DFU mode, but if by some reason you do need to do so, then I'm going to show you how to do so. Like I said, just a little bit of finger gymnastics. So let me preview it for you. You want to press volume up and release volume down and release press and hold the side button continue holding the side button for 10 seconds the screen will go black and then you want to press and hold the volume down button while simultaneously pressing and holding the side button and then after five seconds elapse you want to release the side button but continue holding the volume down button for 10 more seconds and the screen will go black and stay black and you'll get a message on your computer as well so let's try it let's do it volume up Press and release, volume down, press and release, press and hold the 1, side 000. button. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand. Press and hold the volume down button. Continue to hold the side button. And after five seconds, release your finger from the side button, but continue holding the volume down button. And after 10 seconds, you can release your finger from the volume down button and the screen should remain black like this. This is indicative of DFU mode. But you really know you're in DFU mode when you see this message in iTunes. It says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. And your only option is to perform a restore. So that is DFU mode. You probably won't need it, but just in case you do, that's how you do it. All right. So now let's talk about how to exit DFU mode. Now it's not as easy as exiting out of recovery mode, which just requires you to press and hold the side button, but it's not too bad. All you need to do is press and release the volume up, press and release volume down, and then press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. And this will take a few seconds, so just be patient. That old Apple logo will show up here any moment now. And once it does, you can release that side button. There we go. So we can release and now our phone is booting back up into iOS. Now let's talk about a few more things. How to temporarily disable face ID on your iPhone. It's very, very easy. So all you need to do is press either one of the volume buttons while pressing the side button simultaneously. So let's do that now. Um, let's choose volume down. Just hold both buttons. There you go. Once you see the screen release and then tap cancel. And now you see the message, your passcode is required to enable Face ID. So until you enter that passcode, Face ID stays disabled. All right, we have one more tip, how to invoke emergency SOS on your iPhone. So to do so, you can press either of the volume buttons along with the side button simultaneously. So we'll do so right now. And when this menu comes up, continue holding those buttons. You'll see the little countdown timer. Don't let it go all the way across. Otherwise it's going to contact emergency authorities and send text messages to your emergency contacts. Now what's nice is that you can execute emergency SOS without even looking at the screen. You just hold those buttons. Maybe your phone's in your pocket. You need to invoke it. You can do so, or you can just use this little slide. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Don't do that folks. Do not accidentally invoke that because that's not good. You don't want to make false you know, false 911 calls and things like that. So be sure not to do that unless you really are in an emergency. Just keep that in mind. All right. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe if you appreciate this video. And also special thanks to our sponsor, Tenorshare, makers of Reboot, a handy iOS utility for Mac and PC. You can enter recovery mode and exit recovery mode with just one click. Try Reboot for Mac OS using the link in the description and get $10 off with coupon code 9to5Mac.